Hello YouTubers and scrapbookers. Um, I just wanted to update you on what I've been doing uh, scrappy wise. Um, I just finished this. I finally got about six Tim Holtz distress inks and I played with the background and it was my brother-in-law's birthday recently so I figured I'd actually make it up for him. So with brown stays on ink I put that border and and that. Um, that's one of uh, Stephanie Bernard's stuff. Uh, stamps right there. I put some buttons and I think I don't think these are Prima. They might be but um, I usually tend to get the cheap stuff. If I do get Prima they're always on sale for like two bucks. Um, I try not to get too much uh, Prima because even though they're very very pretty they're too expensive for me. They just are. There's some lace with some stays on ink and then I line the back with navy um, made one of these envelopes a long time ago, figured it kind of went with the color theme, and even though this is green and kind of doesn't really go with the t color theme, I made this. I won't show you the note on the other side because it's personal. I really don't feel like showing off names. But put some jute on this so it doesn't get lost in there because it's a little bit too small for this. Originally it was too big, now it's too small, so I don't want it lost in there. Then jute on the outside, so yeah. Um, I thought it came out pretty good considering I'm not used to doing the blending tool and edging and stuff like that with the distressing so I'm still a newbie at it. Um, another project I've been working on for quite a while because I never have time <laughs> is my 21st birthday mini album. This is my second mini album. Um, the front page is lined with emboss black embossing powder. Got some chipboard that I uh, painted with acrylic paint. Got some stickles. Smooch is lining with this and the flames. I finally got my first two smooches um, paints that is some stickles down here some ju uh, not jute but tool right there made a little tool flower got some uh, fibers and a little charm that I actually made um, put together you know and uh, hanging off with one of those uh, fishing thingies that I saw someone uh, said to do for real cheap. I'm telling you it works. <laughs> it's so cheap but um, it's very useful. There's tons of them in there. Next page. Smooch right there. A couple of fragments with glossy accented paper on the back. Um, did that. Black embossing powder. I love that border if you can't tell. I think it looks totally cool stars. Um, yes, I will show you. Here's me holding my uh, 21st birthday candles. Yes, I'm a complete dork, so I'm going to do weird faces, so excuse me. Well, I'm not really a dork. I'm a nerd and geek, but anyway. Um, next page. I accidentally burned the corner, so I burned the other corner, too, just to make it look extra tattered. I thought it looked kind of cool. I glimmer misted it with red uh, dye ink. Um reinker with copper pearls, uh, perfect pearls in it. Little trim. There's a chipboard piece that I lined on both sides. I know I don't remember all the pa paper packs. These are all very, very old and they probably can't be gotten anymore. Little button in the mo in the middle. Mm, where am I at? <clears throat> Next side to coordinate with this, I got these little picture corners. Yes, that's my grandma. <laughs> Um, we ate at Buca de Beppo's, I do believe. It was for my cousin and me, of course, because he was born on the 17th, I was born on the 18th, and we always have a birthday at the same time. I'm trying to rush through this. I don't want it to be extra long. So this is some sort of a uh, sweet thing, sort of like uh, words that are really mirrory. So I used, uh, I think it's current and slate, current and slate uh, colors of alcohol ink on there. You can kind of sort of see the color, and the original sheen is underneath, like, this part right here, but I don't know if you can really tell. Um, did a little dew drop with the picture underneath idea with the glossy accents, and some lace down here, black lace. I found some really nice black lace. Slid it in there, but I keep it up with some, uh, something, some, uh, Glue Glider Pro on the back, um, just a little bit. Um, my dad gave me this recently. It's a vintage earring. Um, I don't have earrings, um, and since it's vintage, I don't want it getting lost to stuff. You might as well put it in a memory book. So, 
At least that's my idea of it. And then the next page looks like this. You can kind of just tilt it up because there's the whole family and I'm covering up my husband's face because I'm sure he doesn't want to be seen on the internet. I'm just doing it out of respect. Um, did another family shot on this side. Um, I painted this with acrylic paint as well, this, this tag. Um, so you can see a lot of uh, detail whenever you turn it a certain way. It looks kind of like wood. Kind of like that first tag I'd made. That brown one looks like wood. Put some ribbon on there. And that's about it so far. I have a couple more pages that I still have to do. Um, the ones that I have to do will look like this. The, um, the next page will be this one, really. And we'll have this to coordinate with it. Um, I put some glossy accents in there to kind of keep it in place because it's kind of silky smooth. But I'm going to add these little buttons. Um, I don't know what else. I'll probably align it with some black or something. Um, but yeah, that'll be on that page. That's on the other side. Then I'll have this page and then this page. Um, I lined it with acrylic black paint. Um, so it's going to be pretty good. I think that's it for the pages. Um, the other two will probably have tags with pictures on both sides because I have a lot of pictures but not enough pages. Um, and I don't really have a Cricut and no grunge board or cardboard or anything to really finish it off so I have to do it that way so so yeah that's what I've been doing thanks for watching